hi guys so welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial at ngayon sasagutan natin itong problem so the problem says a snowboarder starts from rest at the top of a double black diamond hill as she rides down the slope GPS coordinates are used to determine her displacement as a function of time where x is equal to 0.5 t cubed plus t squared plus 2 t where x and t are expressed in foot and seconds respectively. Thus, determine the position, velocity, and acceleration of the border when t is 5 seconds. So, meron na agad tayong sagot. Ito, yung x is position, v is velocity, and a is yung acceleration. So, yung gagawin ko lang is show sa inyo kung paano nakuha yung ganitong sagot. So, first, isulat muna natin yung given. So, this is the given. So, sinulat ko yung data, which is yung position, is x is equals to 0.5 t cube plus t squared plus 2t. And then, another given, yung x daw is may unit na fit, and yung t ay is expressed in seconds. So, dito, to make this word problem short, hahanapin daw natin yung position when t is 5 seconds. Uh, similar to velocity and acceleration with similar time which is 5 seconds. So, uh, paano natin ito sisimulan? So, ito. So, start na tayo ng solution. So, let's solve for x or your position. So, yung x daw natin is a function of time is equals to 0 0.5 t cubed plus t squared plus 2t. Okay? So, dito, uh, may condition na what is the position of snowboarder when it is 5, when t is 5 seconds. So, ganito lang yung mangyayari, yung t palitan natin ng 5. At isa substitute sa ating function. Plus 5 squared plus 2 times 5 okay so yung x5 is equals to using your calculator makukuha natin na yung position after 5 seconds is 97.5 feet so bakit feet yung unit kasi from the given yung x daw or yung position is expressed in feet so therefore yung unit natin is in feet so as you can see yung sagot natin is match dito Therefore, ito na yung sagot. So, second, we need to find the velocity. So, solving for, for velocity, pero hindi given sa ating problem yung function ng ating velocity. So, may mangyayari, i-derive natin yung position para makuha yung velocity. So, kung maalala natin, velocity is equals to dx over dt. So, dx over dt, meaning, i-derive natin itong function. Okay? So, in short, yung derivative ng position function is equals to velocity. So, ito, i-derive natin. So, we have 0.5. Tapos, ibababa natin yung exponent na 3. t cube minus 1 yung exponent. Plus, yung exponent na 2, ibababa natin yan. 2t. And then, yung exponent, magsasubtract tayo ng 1. And then, dito, 2, t, 1 minus 1. Okay? So, velocity is equals to dx over dt is equals to, yung velocity function natin ay magiging 1.5 t squared plus 2 t plus 2. Okay, so yung velocity v as a function of time is equals to 1.5 t squared plus 2t plus 2. Okay, so yung condition din tayo na what is velocity after 5 seconds? So, i-substitute din natin yan dito and sa kanyang function. So, lahat ng t sa velocity function, palitan natin ng 5. Okay? So, yung V, 
velocity after 5 seconds using your calculator makukuha natin na velocity is 49.5 and then yung unit nya okay so ano yung unit ng velocity so distance over time so yung distance natin is feet over time which is second therefore feet per second so ito na yung velocity natin so mapapansin nyo match din siya sa sagot natin and lastly you need to solve for acceleration so yung acceleration is equals to dv over dt so meaning it derive din natin yung function ng velocity which is ito it derive natin yan para makakuha tayo ng function sa ating acceleration therefore derivative nito is equals to 3t plus 2 so a sa so function of time is equals to 3t plus 2 so, isa-substitute natin yung t, which is 5 seconds. So, a sub a. So, what is acceleration after 5 seconds? So, papalitan lang natin yung t ng 5 plus 2. So, acceleration after 5 seconds is 17. Yung unit niya, feet per second squared. So as you can see, match din siya sa sagot natin. Therefore, yan yung sagot sa ating problem. So ganun lamang solve. Hope na nakatulong guys. And God bless.